The following program is rated TV PG. Some scenes may be too scary for children under seven. We suggest watching together as a family. Face. I love Ding Dong Ditch. Shh. No pictures. You guys didn't hear? I blew up the toilet at St. Catharines. <laughs> I did, man. It was epic. I got kicked out of that school. Oh, that's not what I heard. Yeah, I heard you couldn't hang with those private school kids. Could not hang. No way. Little dude could not hang. It's bogus. I got kicked out. It was huge. Yeah, so huge. Everybody was tweeting about it for weeks. Sure they were, dude. Yeah, you're bad. <laughs> I think I found her next victim. Maybe it's time to call it a night. Yeah, it's raining now and it's getting kind of late. I thought we were just getting started. To be honest, I'm not going near that place. Well, why not? That crazy old cat lady lives there. She creeps me out. Yeah. I heard a kid went up there to sell wrapping paper, looked into her eyes, and it hasn't been the same since. Urban myth. Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, uh, I'm getting tired. And I'm not tired at all. I'm pumped. Fine. We won't even go near the house. We'll get her from here. What are you doing? What? The house could use a little color anyway. Come on. Seriously, don't do it! Sterling! Show me what you got, Sterling. Dude, you idiot! I told you the first rule of nightclub is no pictures. Yeah, and we don't egg. Wait, we don't egg? You better erase those pictures. <sighs> Come on. So I told you I didn't want to bring this clown along. You're the one that said you felt sorry for him. Yeah, right. Stop it. Help me. I think I broke my arm. Uh. A 
listen, th th that wasn't me. I, I was trying to stop those other two guys. They wouldn't listen to me, I swear. Ugh. It really hurts. Look, I have photos. I saw them throwing eggs and I didn't know what to do. They pushed me when they saw I was taking pictures and they ran off. Ugh. Thank you. Thank you. These will make you feel better. Thanks, Mom. You okay, hon? You want me to get you a pillow? I'm gonna get you a pillow. Police are in front of the Scott's house. I am so proud of you. You chose to do the right thing in the wrong situation. I never did like you hanging around with those Scott boys anyway. A gang, helpless old Miss Habu's house. I mean, who would do such a thing? I just feel sorry for their mother. But then again, that's what happens when you spoil your kids. How is the cookie, honey? Good. I'm gonna go put some nice fresh sheets on your bed. something in my cast. It's moving around. I can hear it. What? Let me see. There's nothing underneath there. But I heard it. Lex, sweetie. It stopped. But still itches. I know, sweetheart, but you have to try and leave it alone. I can't. Take deep breaths. That'll take the itching away. But it itches like crazy. Shh. Relax. Do you want me to sit up with you while you go to sleep? No. Please breathe, sweetheart. Take deep breaths. There you go. See? I think it's getting better. Good. I knew it would. <laughs> Good night. Good night. caught wind about your little incident with the Scott brothers. I hear the cops came and took him away. So what are you doing here? Uh, uh, uh. Relax. 
messing with me, Gil? I'm just messing with you. <sighs> Lex here, he stopped those bonehead Scott brothers from egging some old lady. And got a battle wound. Kid's brave, huh? Somebody had to stop him. <sighs> Mind if I sign it? Oh, go ahead. Later, dude. Excuse me, Lex? Lex Johnson? Uh-huh. I'm Officer Griggs. I'd like to ask you a few questions. What were you doing on Saturday night at the residence of Ms. Hibu? Um, I was just taking a walk. A walk? Yeah, you know, just chilling. Go on, you were chilling. Uh, uh yeah. And I see the Scott brothers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Next thing I know, they're pulling out eggs. I tried to stop them. You hadn't been with those boys earlier that evening? Uh, what? Um, no, no, not until I saw them, sir. You sure you're okay? You seem nervous. You want to scratch it, don't you? <laughs> Have at it. Won't tell anyone. Oh, uh, yes. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Listen, son, I, I understand why you're nervous. It's hard for kids your age to say something when they see their peers engaging in illegal activity. After all, Nobody wants to be a rat, am I right? Uh, yes, sir. But you're not a rat, are you? I'm not? Of course not. Those boys, the bad seeds, they probably did them a favor by turning them in. You're a good kid, and you did the right thing. Just trying to do my part. Oh, speaking of doing your part, you should think about joining our Youth Watch League. I'll keep an eye on the neighborhood at a grassroots level. Can I count on you? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll notify your mother that you'll be taking part. Sounds great. anything out of the ordinary you don't see anything a fracture of the radius just like last time are you sure the x-rays don't lie he's been scratching it right he's really suffering look Lex do you want to get that thing taken off in a month you're gonna have to learn to leave it alone your mother can't be watching over you every second of the day tell you what I'm gonna give you a mild tranquilizer. That should help with the itching and the anxiety. Look what Officer Griggs sent you. Look what Officer Griggs sent you. Your very own Youth Watch League jacket. Try not to scratch. 
Look, honey, why don't you go do a few laps of community watch? Like you promised. It'll take your mind off your arm. Do I have to? You made a commitment. And Officer Griggs went to all this trouble of sending this to you. Please don't embarrass me. You do this for me. And this weekend we'll do some video game shopping. All right. Watch League? Are you kidding me? Uh, good seeing you guys. I gotta get going, though. Get back here, you rat. This should be you slaving on this house. I should kick your butt. Come on. He's not even worth it. He knows what he did. Yeah, well, I hope you guys learned your lesson. Get lost. Go away! Go away! Shoo! You weren't gone very long. Everything peaceful in the neighborhood? Yeah, yeah. Well, at least you fulfilled your commitment. <laughs> Listen, sweetheart, I've got my bowling league this afternoon, so I've left you a casserole in the fridge. Homemade mac and cheese, your favorite. <laughs> Just nuke it for three minutes, okay? When are you gonna be home? Oh, that's the girls. I won't be late. What are you doing here? You didn't hear me knock. No. Uh -huh. I came by to thank you for doing the right thing. For telling the truth about those boys. You're welcome. My darlings seem to be interested in your arm. I wonder why that is. Ah! Oh, looks like you have a nest in there. Oh, don't worry. My cats will get them. Nest. What will I feed my cats? Oh, let 
He sawed off the cast? I came home and I, I found him in the kitchen with a saw. The cast was laying on the floor, but he was still sawing. Thank God I got there when I did. Were the Scott brothers there? No, but it wouldn't surprise me if he hounded him until he broke. My Lex is such a sensitive boy. Why? Why is it always the good ones, the honest ones that have to suffer? I wish I knew. I'll give you a ride to the hospital. Just take it easy, son. Just a few stitches of that arm, I'll be just fine. Hey, guess what? I did it. I was the one that egged the old lady's house. It was me all the time. She tried to get even, but I got away with it. I got rid of them all. I got them all out. Shh. 